Okay, this is a quickie video on filling concrete block with grout or pea gravel concrete. You know, where you're, where you're in a situation where you need the backfill. Anyways, um, these are your typical 8-inch, 2-core stretchers, all right? Everyone has them. But as you can see, the courses don't quite line up, okay? Like on the outside, they line up, but on the inside, they don't. All right, because uh, these block weren't designed to be filled. Granted, you could fill them, stick some rebar in there and door wall, and it's better than nothing. But there are block that are designed to be filled, and that would be these guys right here. These are called Ivani block, Ivani block out here out east. But um, anyways, they are designed to be filled. And you can see it make, they make a nice vertical column of grout or concrete so when you lay them you just take your trowel or tool and you just dress the inside edge a little bit so it's nice and smooth and then you can lay rebar in these trough in these troughs right there you could put two rods going horizontally and then you can uh, put a rod vert you know one or two rods vertically all right and it'll be pretty good you know be almost as good as a poured concrete wall um, maybe maybe even as good you throw some pilasters and whatnot on it and cost wise eh, they're roughly 30 percent more than than the same size uh, two core block at least when I bought these okay and um, and the volume of grout that you need per block it, it's like this now you should check with your manufacturer uh, but now these 10 inch block you can lay approximately 70 10 inch block with one cubic yard of grout okay or one cubic yard of pea gravel concrete uh, a 12 inch block wall like this I think the ratio is approximately 50 uh, 50 blocks to one cubic yard of grout and an eight inch wall I believe it's 90 block per cubic yard okay so I'm just throwing it out there you got a situation that uh, you got to backfill it and you don't want them to go with a block wall you know your typical block wall and uh, I don't know for whatever reason you're not going to get it poured you can do this you know, this is this is definitely an option, and it'll be pretty good. So, eh, just throwing it out there, and and a and a little tip too to some of the you know newer do-it-yourselfers. Uh, whenever you're laying your block, try not to bump the masonry line. You know, give yourself uh, just don't touch the line. That way, you'll keep your wall nice and straight. So, anyways, hey, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be cool too not proud. But uh, anyways, take care. Bye.